ब्रह्मनाथ ओ शांति 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 स्वस्थ हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द फाइलम प्लेटी हेलमिथिस स्टूडेंट्स प्लेटी हेलमिथिस मीन्स व्हाट प्लेटी हेलमिथिस इफ यू ब्रेक द वर्ड टू वर्ड्स वे आर फाइंडिंग वन इज योर प्लेटी अनदर वन इज योर हेलमिथिस प्लेटी मीन्स फ्लैट हेलमिथिस मीन्स वर्म सो वी कॉमनली कॉल्ड एज द प्लेटी हेलमिथिस एज द फ्लैट वर्म ओके दिस वन वी डिस्कस यू शुड हैव रिमेम्बर वी डिस्कस सम जनरल पॉइंट्स such as the animals of the platyhel minthes are the parasites of the mostly of the vertebrate and some are also free living means those are not parasites parasite means what they depend on a uh, one type of host okay in the case of the we can say the the platyhel minthes they are generally the acylomate have the bilateral symmetry okay and also we discuss they have the blind sac plan In the case of the platyhelminthes student, we discuss that the structure of the platyhelminthes are generally we can say dorsoventrally flattened. They have the leaf-like structure. Okay, having we can say also we can we have discussed that the structure of the platyhelminthes is somehow we can say a flat ribbon-like. Next also we discuss some general points in which we discussed that the loose connective tissue is being present in between the internal organs. ओके ऑफ द प्लेटेरियम मिथेस दोज आर नोन यूज नोन एज योर पेरेंट काइम फर्दर ऑल्सो वी डिस्कस्ड दैट द सेफलाइजेशन ऑल्सो बिगिन्स विच इज नोन एज योर वी कैन से द इनिशिएशन ऑफ हेड इज बिंग स्टार्टेड इन द केस ऑफ द प्लेटेल मिथेस ऑल्सो वी स्टार्टेड ऑल्सो वी डिस्कस्ड दैट द इन द केस ऑफ द प्लेटेल मिथेस दोज आर योर ट्रिप्लो प्लास्टिक मीन्स इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री जमलेस एक्टोडम एंडोडम एंड द मेजोडम सो दिस मच एंड ऑल्सो सम न्यूमेरस पॉइंट्स ऑल्सो वी डिस्कस ऑन द प्लेटेल मिथेस Today we'll discuss our new phylum that is your we can say nematode helminthes. Students, nematode helminthes. If we'll break the word nematode helminthes, we'll find two words. One is your nematode, other one is your we can say the helminthes. Nematode means we can say the round. Helminthes means students we we know that is known as your worm. So students we can also write that the if we'll break the word nematode helminthes, we find nematode. and helminthes nemat means round helminthes means worm so we can say in the case of the nemat helminthes these are also generally called or commonly called as the round worm okay so we can write these are commonly called as commonly called as round worm okay next point the animals of the platy uh, so sorry of the nematode helminthes these are generally aquatic some are terrestrial and some are parasitic and some are free living okay so we can write our next point <coughs> animals are aquatic terrestrial terrestrial means those uh, live on the land terrestrial some are parasites and some are free living and some are free living okay next what is the body organization that is present in the case of the nematode helminthes the body organization or we can say the cellular organization what is present in the case of the um, in the case of the nematode helminthes then your answer will be, will be the organ system you remember we have discussed all the body organization such as your cellular level then the tissue level or then the organ level organ system level so here the level of or the grade of organization in the case of the nematode helminthes is or we can say the organ system level of organization is present in the case of the nematode helminthes okay so we can write organ 
system level of organization <coughs> of organization is present okay so in this what type of level of organization is present that is how we can say the organ system level of organization is being present next student in the case of the nematelminthes one important characteristic feature is that those are the generally the pseudo silomate okay if your question comes a zero one mark objective that which phylum is basically belongs to the pseudo silomate then our answer will be the nematelminthes so we can also write the main characteristics is these are generally pseudo silomate these are generally pseudo silomate okay another important point you tell that these are or we can say the nematelminthes are they are the uh, diploblastic or triploblastic yes as we discussed that the from the platelminthes as we will go forward we will find all the phylums as the triploblastic then obviously these are the triploblastic having the ectoderm endoderm and the mesoderm <coughs> so we can write animals are triploblastic obviously having ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm okay next point students how is the structure of the body or we can say of the nematelminthesis the body is basically cylindrical have the bilateral symmetry and also they are the unsegmented means no segmentation is present so we can write <coughs> body is <coughs> body is generally cylindrical cylindrical then body is general cylindrical and the have the bilateral symmetry bilateral symmetry and unsegmented <coughs> and on segmented means for student we discussed that the in the case of the uh, body of the nematelminthes these are the body is cylindrical means a cylinder like shape okay the, you know the cylinder body is like the cylinder like shape cylindrical bilateral symmetry means you know the plane which passes it divides the body into uh, equal right half and equal left half and the unsegmented means as we discussed in the case of the earth one that the segmentation is being present whole over the body okay so in this case no segment is present so it is also known as we can say the unsegmented okay next student one important characteristic feature is your we can say the epidermis of the nematelminthes is syncytial in nature what is, what is syncytial i am telling you the epidermis is syncytial means what syncytial means student it is the multi nucleated condition see i am writing here this is the multi nucleated <coughs> condition so what is the students the multi nucleated condition means see syncytial means suppose we are taking the epidermis suppose this is the epidermis suppose this one is your <coughs> suppose this one is your epidermis suppose these are your cells it consists of various cells okay obviously those will have various nucleus this is general we can say epidermis having the various nucleus so students as you can see that the in between one cell and another cell one demarcation is being present demarcation means division is being present by which we can identify that this is one cell this is one cell this is one cell this is one cell but in the case of the nematelminthes 
this demarcation is being not clearly visible this demarcation is being not clearly visible if the demarcation means the separation is not clearly visible you can now say na students that the epidermis is somehow like multinucleated means more than one nucleus is present exactly that is that uh, peculiarity or we can say that 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 uh, particular characteristics is nothing but your syncytial okay so we can write that the epidermis is syncytial in nature okay so you understand that the it is we can say the multinucleated condition suppose we are taken the epidermis in which the demarcation is not clearly visible okay so this is your important one mark objective can also come in which case the epidermis is generally the syncytial in nature so your answer will be your nematel minthes okay so generally number of points we can we have discussed that the in the round worm it is uh, commonly it is called the round worm aquatic terrestrial parasites or some are free living <coughs> organ system level of organization is present then these are generally the pseudo silomate in nature means pseudo silomate means what it does not have the true silom true silom means what if a silom is present and it is being uh, lined by the mesoderm then it is called the true silom in this case the silom is present but it is not lined by the mesoderm so that is why it is called the pseudo silomate next student that the animals are triploblastic having the ectoderm endoderm and the mesoderm body is somehow cylindrical like bilateral symmetry and also the unsegmented and in the case of the epidermis it is syncytial in nature means having the multinucleated condition next students the digestive system in the case of the we can say the nematel minthes is present but the uh, respiration and the circulatory system is absent so we can write digestive system is present okay but the excretory system and the circulatory system are absent <coughs> sorry the respiratory system and the uh, circulatory system are absent respiratory system and circulatory system are absent okay means there are the digestive system system is obviously present but the respiratory system and the circulatory system are completely absent next students what is about the excretory system excretory system is somehow we can say h shaped i am saying what is that h shaped the excretory system is h shaped what is h shaped i am saying h students we discussed in the our previous phylums that the nervous system is now in the ladder like as we discuss in this way ladder like means in this way nervous system but in this case we are discussing that the excretory system is somehow h like means for student suppose this is is normal i am drawing the h means what excretory system is h like means the excretory systems have two longitudinal lateral longitudinal excretory canals which are being connected by one transverse excretory canal okay i am now i am doing the diagram properly see excretory system in the case of the nematel minthes how it is present it consists of two lateral longitudinal excretory canal these structures are these sides are called the lateral longitudinal means this one okay so two longitudinal we can say lateral longitudinal excretory canals are present which is connected by one transverse one transverse excretory canal which is connected by one transverse excretory canal now we can say that the excretory system is h shaped so that point we will write excretory system is h shaped having having 
to lateral to lateral longitudinal excretory canal which are connected by which are connected by one transverse one transverse excretory canal excretory canal okay students so we have discussed so many points <coughs> epidermis is essential you know means the multinuclear condition digestive system is present but the respiratory system and the circulatory system are absent whereas the excretory system is somehow h shaped how it is h shaped means it having two lateral longitudinal excretory canals which are connected by one transverse excretory canal remember two longitudinal two lateral longitudinal excretory canal are present which are connected by one transverse excretory canal that is why the excretory system of the nematelminthes is somehow h shaped okay students so these are your various some general points of the nematelminthes please note down students just add here one y okay sinxial okay s y n c y okay just one add one y by mistake i have left one y please add this next come to some more general characteristics of the nematelminthes in the case of the nematelminthes the nervous system consist of the circumenteric nerve rings and also the longitudinal nerve cords are found so we can write <coughs> nervous system consist of consist of circum enteric nerve rings okay and longitudinal nerve cords nerve cords are found students what do you mean by the circum enteric nerve rings circum means what circumference or we can say around means something it is present around circum enteric means it is present around the enteric or we can say enteric means it is something related to the we can say the digestive system okay so it is something we can say it is present surrounding the circum enteric means suppose this is your digestive system or something it is surrounded or circumferenced by the nerve rings okay so and also some longitudinal nerve cords means like this structure this is your no, uh, longitudinal nerve cords are present so we can say the nervous system in the case of the <coughs> nematelminthes this is a consist of the circum enteric nerve rings and also the longitudinal nerve cords, cords are also found next point students <coughs> in the case of the nematelminthes the sexes are separate sexes are separate means as we discussed in our previous phylum that the the those are generally hermaphrodite hermaphrodite means what same organism having the male reproductive system and also the female reproductive system but in the case of the nematelminthes the sexes are separate means one individual organism having the male reproductive system denote as the male another uh, uh, individual or the organism having the female reproductive system denoted as the female means the sexes are separate in one organism the it does not contains the all both the sexes those are the condition of the hermaphrodite okay remember next the fertilization is internal means the fertilization takes place inside the body next point the fertilization is internal okay and the last point the development is direct having no larval stage 
द डेवलपमेंट इज डायरेक्ट हैविंग नो लार्वल स्टेज ओके यू नो स्टूडेंट्स एज आई सेड यू मीन्स इफ द डेवलपमेंट इज इनडायरेक्ट देन ओबियसली लार्वल स्टेजेस इज प्रेजेंट If the development is direct, then obviously there is no larval stage. Means suppose this one we can say this is one year, we can say the this is one period, or we can say this is another period. Means if the development is direct, then there is no larval stages. But if the development is indirect, means it crosses once one condition and it goes another to another or the other condition, then it passes through a phase of like condition. So that is also that is your known as the indirect or we can say indirect. Uh, Uh, the uh, development which consists of the larval condition larval stage so in this case the development is direct means the development takes place but there is no larval stages always remember don't be confused if the development is indirect then larval stage is present if the larva if the development is direct then larval stages are larval stages absent okay so we can say development is direct in the case of the nematelminthes having no larval stages okay once again i am repeating if the development is indirect then larval stage is present if the development is direct then larval stage are not present so in this case what will be the answer you tell the development in the case of the nematelminthes is direct having no larval stage clear next what are the two classes as we, i always say that the classes are not important for you it is not in the syllabus but for your knowing only i am telling it consists of two classes a fast media and the fast media okay and some common examples we can discuss <coughs> the common example is your ascaris which is commonly known as your round worm okay common example are ascaris which is commonly known as your round worm ucheria which is commonly known as your filarial worm okay then the encyclostoma which is commonly known as your hookworm next the trachyurus which is commonly known as your whip worm okay and if we'll take the structure of the uh, the ascaris we are taking the male ascaris and the female ascaris some the structure is somehow like this it is also present in our biological or the zoology laboratory when you will come to our college you will you can see it is easy to distinguish between the male and the female ascaris you can see the male is somehow we can say coiled manner but the female is somehow straight the male is somehow thin but the female is somehow as compared to the male it is somehow thick so you can easily identify as you will in the laboratory we have the practical you can easily identify which one is your male ascaris which one is your female ascaris simple if the ascaris is being coiled then that is known as your male if it is straight then it is known as your female ascaris okay students so students today we discussed some important points once again i am discussing all the four points nervous system consist of sarcomentric nerve rings having also the uh, longitudinal nerve cords are also found sexes are separate fertilization is, is internal means it takes place inside the body development is direct having no larval stages okay common example round worm ascaris then the filarial worm ucheria then the hook worm and cyclostoma and the whip worm which is known as the trachyurus and this is how we discuss the structure of the male ascaris and the female ascaris okay so students today we discuss the general characteristics of the phylum nematelminthes or we can say the another name is also known as your nematodes nematelminthes or also it is also known as your nematodes in this we discuss so many general points means the animals are generally found in the aquatic or terrestrial some are parasites some are free living the structure is we can say the cylindrical having the bilateral symmetry okay next we discuss these are the unsegmented body means no segmentation is present then we discussed that the epidermis is syncytial in which the it is the multi nucleated condition okay next the digestive system is generally present but the respiratory and the circulatory system is completely absent then the excretory system is somehow a head shaped means it having two we can say lateral longitudinal excretory canal which is being connected by one transverse excretory canal 
further we discussed that the nervous system consists of the circumenteric nerve rings and also the longitudinal nerve cords are found sexes are separate fertilization is generally internal and the development is generally direct having no larval stages and also we discussed some general points some general examples such as a round worm hook worm then the phyllid worm and the whip worm okay and also the commonly the nematelminthes is called your we can say the round worm and also it is also known as your nematodes okay so that's all for today we will meet in our next class thank you